I don't know what they're doing over there to make the trash come over here, but it does. Raining trash at an east side cemetery. You see it there caught on camera. Leaders say flyaway trash is especially problematic on even windier days. Now, waste management has been operating on East Houston Street for the past seven years. The company says it's tried to be a good neighbor and has taken steps to clean the area up. But leaders at the cemetery across the street say, no, 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 not enough. They reached out to Fox San Antonio's Darian Trotter to solve the problem. Trash, dust, and stench stink sometimes real bad. Joe Webb is talking trash. He's had it with his neighbor, frustrated over trash caught on camera blowing freely overhead, and Webb says it often lands at Meadow Lawn Memorial Park. I don't know what they're doing over there to make the trash come over here, but it does. A spokeswoman for waste management says the company strives to be a good neighbor to communities and businesses surrounding our facilities. The chaplain at Meadow Lawn showed us pictures of debris he says is from the recycling company. Paper is seen lying along the fence line in front of the cemetery and the fence line in the back of the property. This plastic bag stuck in a tree. We also recorded video of trash in front of grave sites with our camera. It's been seven years and we're sick of it. To demonstrate a commitment to keeping the area clean, Waste Management dedicates two full-time cleaners who pick up debris on site along the roadways and the cemetery twice a day. The company pays for street sweeper services weekly on both sides of East Houston, and they've upgraded the fence line with netting. And none of that works. Why would we be complaining if there wasn't a problem? Waste management points out that the site is subjected to inspections by state and local agencies like TCEQ and code compliance. They say there are no current issues at the site. We're looking into that claim and we will let you know what we find out. Darian Trotter, Fox News at 9.